So hi, <laughs> good morning. So I just wanted to give you an update. It's roughly more than 31 days since I started this journey. And what is this journey about? It's about me getting to know the country that I'm originally from. So wo bin ich zu Hause, meine Heimat für Fremde. Where do I call home? My home country for foreigners. In summary, I'm trying to bring Nigeria to you undiluted, the way it is, the way I experience it, what baffles me, what might baffle you or what you might love and what I've loved. And we've been to 13 states so far, over 60 sites, and I'm gonna do my best to write on all of that on TripAdvisor and Google and to work on the video material. In traveling to quite a bit of places, people always ask me, what's Nigeria like? Uh, what can I expect if I'm in Nigeria? And I always used to have a blank stare because I was like, okay, I've been to maybe four states and just a major city, so I can't really tell you because it is a big country and it's quite diverse. But I figured, oh, you could Google or you could check on TripAdvisor for, you know, description of places and things you could do in Nigeria. Until I did that myself and realized, oops, there is not enough information. There is not enough information about the beautiful things that we have here. So far be it for me to say that we have a perfect tourist uh, location. We do not have that, but we are rich in cultural diversity and also the biosphere. So there is a lot that you can learn and experience in Nigeria. We may not have the infrastructure yet to make it easy as it would be anywhere else, but there is a lot of things you can do. So some of my highlights so far in the 31 days where we've covered the Southwest, Southeast, and now I'm talking to you live from Port Harcourt, South South, is I love the Idemre Hills. So exploring the Idemre Hills, the um, Ulumiri waterfall, that experience was just amazing. There's seven levels hiking up there and then taking a bath in the third level, or even just the, um, Obunike Cave, crawling through the tunnels and seeing the bat parlor and the bathroom where all these bats were inside there, that was really um, interesting. Or the Ohum waterfall, that was, wow. It's like, there's so many sites that I'm going like, I didn't even know we had all of this. I didn't know we had all of this and I didn't know we, we didn't make enough noise about all of the stuff we have. Um, so there have been quite a couple of highlights and even a lot of interviews. So I've been talking with people, the ones that run uh, the tour complexes, the ones that are guides there, just getting their opinion, what they feel about tourism in Nigeria, what they wish would change. And um, we have quite a number of things for you to do, but you have to keep an open mind because three things that I've noticed is that, first of all, people are allergic to you bringing out your camera. The people outside and the institutions for some reason. So the camera is a big issue. If you bring out your camera and you're taking a picture of a monument or you're taking a picture of a building, there will almost be one person that crawls out from somewhere and goes, Madam, what are you doing? You won't camera me. Why are you camera me? So you're like, nope, I'm just taking a, build a picture of the building. And then you get a list of questions. And there are so many, um, you know, confused expressions when you say, no, I just want to look at the building. There's nothing. I'm looking at the building and, and I'm traveling and I'm taking pictures of where I go. They don't believe you. They believe there's an ulterior motive. You're trying to either make money. So it's a question of they feel you're going to make money and they will not be part of that money or their security is in question. So there is still a kind of apprehension towards you whipping out a camera. All the organizations have discovered, oh, this is an additional source of income for us. So is that enough for you to visit us if you want to take pictures with your camera? You've got a fee for your mobile phone. You've got a fee for a proper camera. And oh God, if you're doing video shooting, it's like 50,000 naira. So all sorts of weird things when it comes to cameras. So just keep that in mind. And then infrastructure. You will find that some of the places are in deserted areas. So when we got the bike, from the junction, Obunike Junction, going to Obunike Cave. I think I just felt comfortable because the bike rider, there were two elderly men uh, that were taking me and my cousin, so I didn't freak out, but like where we were going, there wasn't a lot of people on the road. And when we got there, there was just a tree and a boy sitting there and he said, oh, I'm gonna take you down. I'm like, ooh, yeah, this could get a bit dicey, but you know, I go with my gut feeling if I feel comfortable with it and there is a sign as a tourist site, okay. So that was fine, but the road can be, so I get it when people like to go in groups. And then um, the road to Akwete, when we went to Akwete to look at the traditional Igbo weavers, we took a bike from the Obehe Junction and 
Okay, this guy was driving and I was like, oh, 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 oh. Because it's actually close to the Niger Delta region. So you're passing a lot of, you know, um, grassland with tall trees and everything. And very uh, well done road. But they're like, okay, I haven't seen anyone else. Um, so it's kind of like, <laughs> but that's what, that's what it is with villages though. That's what it is. But, you know, there's this you know, thing going on in your mind. Um, so that was a bit tricky. So the roads and also how exposed or not exposed you are when you're going on those roads. And the third thing is the fact that unfortunately there isn't enough information or enough, um, let's say there is not enough traffic going to the storage location. So people that work there tend to see you as a ticket to make up for all the sales they haven't made in a while. So they will hype up their prizes. The great thing is if it's official locations, they can, because all you do is ask for the receipt and they've got to write the original entry fee. Um, and other places where there are no receipts and it's just being managed by a sub kind of management, yes, they will try to make their months pay or weeks pay off you if they could. So um, you've got to be aware of that. I mean, if you wanted to avoid all of this, you could use some of the tour operators. I'm sure there are a lot of tour operators that offer it. I know iTours would be doing for Enugu. I know Niger Adventures for Abuja. I don't know anyone in Lagos quite yet, but there are quite a couple of people doing. Um, there is Victor in Oyo who would be able to take you also to the old Oyo National Park and, and stuff like that. So there are quite a couple of tour guides that organize this thing, so you don't have to kind of like do it the way I'm doing it but so far so good I've had a great time I've had interesting experiences I've had dialogues where I thought oh my god this should be from a Nigerian Nollywood movie because that's the only place it would happen and I've had situations where I'm like it's just beautiful it's just amazing so what am I trying to say so far so good we are diverse the level of development in the different regions is really on um, on different levels so I got into Potaka thinking Oil region, roads must be amazing, they must have some infrastructure. Till now, I'm not feeling the city, the roads are catastrophic, their transport system is, I don't understand it. My cousin says it's because I've never been to South South and this is the way they are. So maybe today I'll get a feeling of South South and feel like, yay! But as of the moment, I actually am looking forward to going to the next city. So do keep in touch, do follow me on um, YouTube, Lisa Lady one on Instagram, Vorbinishtahause, and on Facebook, Vorbinishtahause. And of course, I do have a blog for those that love reading. It's called Lagos for Fremde. Okay, thanks guys, bye. And cheers, I brought my tea with me.